Today, we're going to learn how to use Euler's method to approximate the solution to a differential equation using the Sequence app on the NumWorks graphing calculator. To begin, let's review a problem that would require the use of Euler's method. In this example, we're asked to consider the differential equation dy dx equals the square root of x times y, with an initial condition that y of 1 is equal to 4. We're also given limitations that x has to be greater than 0 and y has to be greater than 0. We must use Euler's method with a step size of 0.25 to fill in the following table, and we're going to round each decimal to two places. To begin, we're going to open the NumWorks calculator. In the NumWorks calculator, we want to add a sequence of values. So we're going to go into our sequence application and press OK. In the sequence application, we're going to add a sequence, and we're going to use the recursive first order sequence and press OK. We're going to let u sub n plus 1 represent our x values. So we're going to define u of n plus 1 is equal to u sub n plus our step size, which is 0 0.25. We're also going to give our x values a starting x value, which our initial condition had a starting x value of 1. Next, we need to create a second sequence for the y values. So we're going to add another recursive first order sequence. To define our sequence for y values, we want to use Euler's method in our toolbox to grab the sequence of x values and y values. So we'll have v sub n, the previous y values, plus the slope, which is the square root of the x values. Using our toolbox, we can grab our u sub n times our y values, again our full slope here, times our change in x values or our step size. Press OK to confirm the sequence of your y values. We also need to give it an initial y value, so we'll give it an initial y value of 4. Now that we have our sequences created for the x and the y values, we can navigate to our table of values to see the table that we need generated. Just a reminder, our u sub n is our sequence of x values, and our u sub v is our sequence of y values. For more tutorials, visit numworks.com.